the electronic flight back and then specifically calculating the flex temperature and the v1 vr and v2 speeds which are required to set up the performance of the aircraft so the first thing we need to do is configure the length of the runway and that with i say the latest update you can find it easily and the first thing you need to do is open the vfr map which we will find here in the VFR map, you can now click on, in this case, the airport, and that will recover several options, including a lot of information like the ILS information, but also the latest MIRA data, which is here, and also the uh, runways and the length and the material of the runway. So in this case, we're going to assume that we're going to depart from runway 04 left. So we're going to select this one and then type in the value 5512 in feet. Then we define the surface. It could be either dry or wet. Well, in this case, it's dry. And then we need to specify the QDM, which is the uh, direction of or the, the digital uh yeah direction of the, the runway, right? So it's it's the angle of the runway. So in this case. You can see it's runway 04 left and based on from what I understood that is will result in a QDM of 040 uh, which 40 degrees and then we've got the wind temperature right the wind temperature you can either scroll down to the bottom uh, which will tell you the you the uh, meter data which is over here uh, another thing which you can do is go to a website which is called meter-taf.com which will show you the actual weather right so which shows me a the wind is direction 140 and eight knots and i will post the link in the uh in the video or in the description of this video so you can also have a look at the website then we've got the temperature the temperature is uh, five degrees according to the same side so we will keep that as is and then the uh, hpa which is zero one zero two six also from the same side these units could be different in your case because it all depends on this option the units option in my case has been set to this one but if you set it to lbs ft and i and ag then you will need to specify those values the next step is to configure the weight of the aircraft and the weight can be collected via this option and then you need to look at the gross weight which is at the bottom keep in mind that you need to uh, change it from kilogram to tonnage which would mean that it would be 99.8 in this case so we're gonna provide it as is and then we're good to go with the next step which is the flaps which we will set to slaps to 15 flaps also to 15 and the uh, anti-icing can be set to uh, all or off or engine only in this case i will put it to engine only uh, and then you can press calculate now if you made a mistake it will show red squares here it will show or in front of all the fields and you need to correct them right so it's gonna press calculate in this case i'm lucky but if you press something or entered something incorrectly you will see a red uh i would say marker just like this one uh which indicate that you need to correct the value so this indicates that i've got a flex temperature of 59 and then the vr and v1 are both 138 and the v2 is 165 in addition to that also the uh, visual representation has been added here so you can see okay hey where do i need to uh, have the v1 and vr and where i do i have the v2 and this is what you can use as input for the performance which we will discuss in one of our future videos here ends this video in this video we looked at the electronic flight bed uh, flight back with the uh, focus on uh, the calculation of the flex temperature and also the v1 uh, vr and v2 speeds i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time